So we had the cut down race a, a few weeks ago. That was kind of our first indication of basically how the whole summer training block went for everybody. Uh, the issue with that is that it's not a perfect race predictor. Uh, it's just kind of a measurement tool that we have that's comparable year to year. Um, and so this is really our first attempt at a, you know, an honest race effort where you know, we get out there and, and mix it up with people from outside our team. And so for me, it's just kind of our first data point for the season. I consider this a preseason contest, and so there's not really much pressure on it. We travel everybody uh, just to kind of shake the order out. And, and so for me, from a coaching standpoint, I just want to see comparison from last year, right? We were in the same course last year at the same time. Uh, and also just an ordering. Let's we'll see how that changes from what you see in practice and then how it changes on race day, dealing with the nerves and everything. Um, so the, on, on race day, uh, being that it is a, a preseason contest, uh, we're not going to take it kind of like every other big race. We're going to approach it a little bit differently. Um, I don't think we need to really weed out who's our top runner yet. And so we're probably going to have the front end of, the, of both teams kind of sit back a little bit and help bring along the mid to backpack of our team. Uh, for me, it's more about uh, determining who's in that middle range. And so we'll probably have the back end come back a little bit and maybe wait for a while before they really move forward. And so we'll see how that plays out. It's a looped course, mile loops, and so it's easy for us to kind of build each lap. They can come by every lap and I can kind of give them instruction and, and it'll help us to kind of adapt to the circumstance. It'll be fun this year because there's a couple extra teams that'll be there compared to last. Um, with the University of Utah will be there on the women's side and then actually my old mentor in grad school at Georgia State, they're flying out uh, just to come run. So they asked about a meet this way for Labor Day and I was like, hey, come to the meet we're doing. So they're going to fly out from Atlanta and uh, have a fun little race off and see how that plays out for both teams. Really, a lot of it is Cross country is a lot harder than track to know where you are because track's so objective. You have tracks that are exactly the right distance and even they have altitude adjustments depending on where you are. And in cross, it's all about who you face off with, right? So if you see the same team and you can compare yourself to them later in the season, and it's a good metric of improvement or um, regression, hopefully not, but uh, it's just a good comparison tool. And so if we can see some people early on, I, as a coach, I know I use that data to be able to then see later on how's the training gone compared to our competition. So whether it's Utah Valley, who's not in our conference, like you said, uh, who we won't really see much of until um, maybe Southern Utah's meet and then at region, or teams like Southern Utah, who we seem to line up against like five times a year. Uh, either way, that's useful data and it's good for, because really in, in cross country, the regular season is just all prologue for championship, right? And so. We're just trying to refine things until then, and, and this is step one in that process. So.